हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी सिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मार्केटिंग सेमिस्टर वन मॉडल नंबर फोर इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोन स्टडी अबाउट प्रोडक्ट लाइफ साइकिल दैट इज एब्रिवेटेड एज पी एल सी नाउ इन आ प्रीवियस मॉडल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट सो वॉट हैपन्स आफ्टर प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट द प्रोडक्ट इज लॉन्च इन टू द मार्केट एंड इट गोज थ्रू वेरियस फेजेस these are the phases that constitute the product life cycle so let us study these one by one so for the product life cycle looks like this it is a graph that in a graph it can be shown like this way i'll just try to use the brush okay ah uh, this is the introduction stage from this part to this part that is uh in this graph this is the point where development has finished and you are introduced this product in the market as you introduce this product into the market slowly slowly the sales have increased okay so once the sales have increased but the sales have increased at a very slow rate because of two reasons one is because of the customer who are reluct reluctant and little bit unwilling to purchase a new product that has been launched into the market because they have not tried it yet so because just because it is a new product people are not ready to purchase it all of a sudden secondly uh, because of the company side because company uh, may not be a little reluctant to go for mass production right from the starting itself that is they may be a little reluctant or hesitant and hence may not be using its 100% production capacity that is why the production itself might be little slow from the company's end so these are the two reasons why uh, this introduction during the introduction stage we have low sales and slow sales as it goes as uh, people start knowing about the brand as people start becoming aware about the brand more and more people start purchasing this this shown in growth phase this phase from this point to this point this point is known as the growth phase growth phase now in growth phase what it happens is this low sales which was there at till here this point it suddenly starts picking up and the sales rises up exponentially it's not linear it starts growing exponentially there is huge increase in the demand and people a new uh, people are uh, that is new customers are coming in and they are ready to purchase and ready to try out a product this is a, a stage which is marked by huge growth and tremendous demand after that a point will come in the product life cycle that is point will come at all the products where the sales slowly start decreasing that is the rate at which the say, uh, growth was there that will start decreasing see this point is very interesting because from this point what happens is your sales are do increasing but the rate at which the sales was increasing will decrease right the rate is decreasing and this happens because nearly you have reached all the potential customers which you have thought initially so the target market is saturated the competitors have come in they have got their share we have a fixed share and now we cannot sell to more number of people so there is kind of a saturation in the market that has happened which happens at this point okay so saturation marker point is the point above which your growth that is the sales will not increase that is the highest point that is the peak of the uh, what you can say uh, call the product life cycle this stage is known as the maturity stage most of the established products have reached maturity at one or uh one of the one point of the time where they feel that the sales cannot be increased further after this point that is the saturation point you can see that the sales is slowly going down and it is also a case of maturity itself but the sales are not going down that much that is the rate at which the sales are falling is not huge so this point up 
from this point to this point is known as maturity after that suddenly the sales start decreasing continuously and the rate at which they are decreasing is very high so the rate at which the sales are decreasing is very high and that is known as the decline phase decline phase is where people are not ready to purchase your product and slowly slowly customers are going away from your product and that is where we say that the product has died or it has gone out of the market now if you see on the x axis i have taken sales sales volume and on the y axis i have taken the timeline that is time so this we can say that it is a zero time that is the time of introduction and from there slowly slowly slow it increases i'll write it once more okay so slowly slowly the sales are increasing and then suddenly it will increase then it will reach maturity and then it will decline just like what i have shown here in the graph now what happens uh, during all these phases we'll see one by one okay so in the introduction phase i'll just on the brush okay in the introduction phase what happens is you see low sales the sales are low i've told you the two reasons one because customers are unwilling to purchase a new product secondly companies are also reluctant to go for 100% production capacity for a new product because they do not know whether the product will be uh, a hit or a failure so that is why they do not produce much quantity also so that is why the sales are less, less. the second feature of uh, introduction is high cost per customer so if you want to gain new customer you have to invest a huge into a huge amount into promotion especially advertisement you have to go for aggressive advertisement as a, a result of which your cost will increase and that is why high cost there will be very high cost per customer that is if you want to get more customers you have to spend a lot during this phase then comes uh, the next feature that is you will incur a lot of financial losses because the sales are not high the revenue is also not that much high and that as a result of which uh, you have also spent a lot in advertisement and that is why most of the time you will start with profit the profit line is like this uh, i'll just try to mark one small okay the profit line is like this yes now so the red line which i've drawn is the profit line so profit line is uh, it is negative it is below zero this is the zero line i can say and below zero that is negative profit that means we are incurring loss in this phase why because we are spent more than we have got this happens in introduction phase so and just when it goes from uh, negative towards the positive we enter the growth phase so uh, this happens that is financial losses the next thing that happens here is innovative customers we get that is the customers who are ready to accept a product are known as early adopters or innovators okay innovators are the people who will purchase new introductions or new technologies who always are uh, means their nature itself is such that whatever new product is introduced into the market they are the first people to try it out that is why they are known as innovators so the customers who uh, purchase these product during the introduction phase are known as innovators and then a uh, few competition or if there is any competition the especially if it is a technological product then the competition will be less if it is there anything if there is any competition it will be less or else there will be no competition at all so these are some of the features of uh, your introduction phase then what is the what are the features of uh, the growth phase the second phase before going into the growth phase we'll talk about this takeoff now what is this takeoff takeoff is a point on plc that is the graph where suddenly you can see that the slope of the line is changing from that point right 
from that point suddenly you have started to get more and more growth suddenly your growth that is sales have increased you can see that there is a slight deflection in the line from here suddenly it, it goes this way see here it increases from this point so this is the takeoff the uh, growth that is the sales graph is taking off like an aeroplane from that point so that is the takeoff from that point uh, it is known as the growth phase so growth phase is where uh, which is characterized by increasing sales your sales start increasing and the rate at which the sales uh, increase become exponential then the cost per customer which was very high during the uh, introduction phase falls little bit it becomes little less because now your revenue will start increasing compared to your advertisement then the profits also which were negative they start rising increasing number of customers your customers will start multiplying in this phase and this is the phase where you will generate a lot of revenue and profit and this will as a result attract more competition because you are generating more profits that means competitors will look at this and they will also come up with a similar kind of a product or they will come up with a same product which you have built then the next one is maturity phase the third one in maturity phase uh, what happens is the we observe one thing that is peak sales also known as saturation that is the highest sales that you have achieved or you can achieve the cost per cost will be lowest at their maturity phase are known as cash cows cash cows means these are cows where you have to just keep on milching that is you have to just take out the milk out of this cow and you can sell it so these are known as cash cows these products then comes uh, next feature that is your profits will be very high these are also known as sometimes cash cows or stars of your product stars so the, you do not spend much for advertisement but you get very high profits then mass market that is huge market nearly everyone you can sell then comes the next feature that is stable number of competitors that is in this phase you have do not have competition in growth phase you have uh, started to get more competition many people competitors come because there is lot of profit in uh, you are generating so this will attract competitors and in this phase some of these competitors might feel that okay i should leave this because there is lot of competition i should leave this market and i should go and try somewhere else so some competitors will die off some people will run away and then you will be left with the actual number of stable competitors so, so you will have only stable competitors from here on and next lastly we have the decline phase and in decline phase what happens is there are few feature few features you can see falling sales that is your sales will start falling sorry your sales will start falling then once your sales will start falling you will see that your profits also are going down the cost per customer which is there uh, of acquiring new customers you can see this okay the cost of acquiring new customers is also less so cost per customer is less because you have generated more profit profits um, now start falling because you are not advertising much as much you are not promoting your product much you are not investing much into marketing uh, you are just trying to get as uh, many sales as possible let the sales be there you are not worried about the promotion aspect then the customer base uh, contacts that is what you are looking for only that is customers will bring in other customers that is the thing what you are uh, looking for rather than uh, heavy spending on promotions and lastly the number of competitors uh, which is there that will also fall because people will see that the profits you are generating are less and that is why uh, they will also be generating similar kind of profits that is they will also be experiencing less number uh, less profit and that is why they will also 
run away from the market so this is about the product life cycle nearly all the products go through this life cycle but you can use certain strategy to alter this graph you can have certain innovations certain changes in the product and you can change for suppose if you understand that it has reached maturity and it can go to decline anytime then you can do certain innovation and you can change this graph this graph which has gone this way you can give a second life and go into a other phase that is possible that we'll discuss in the next class so for this uh, today we end our lecture here itself i hope you have understood uh, the features of uh, the various phases of product life cycle if you have any difficulties you can always contact us